Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem in one dimensional motion. Let us first understand what is given in the problem. The problem is like this. A body is falling freely from a height of h. So it is a freely falling body. That means its initial velocity is equal to 0. It is falling from a height h. It is falling from a height h. This is that h. Let to fall that h, it covers a time t. It takes a time t. Then I can write a formula for the total journey. For the total journey, I can use a formula h equal to v2 plus half f square that v2 is 0 a is plus g half v2 square it is further given in the problem that it describes in the last second 7 h by 16th of the distance in its fall that means if this is its last second last one second it is in this last one second it has covered a distance of 7 h by 16. So, I would like to say it has covered all this remaining distance. How much is that remaining distance? h minus 7 h by 16. That is 16 minus 7 h. That is 9 h by 16. In all the time other than that last one second. Therefore, I would like to say the displacement that it has covered in all the time other than that last one second all the time is t other than that one second is nothing but t minus one second t is as i have told you already 9 h by 16 equal to half g t minus one whole square let me call this as equation number two let me call this as equation number one now let us simplify this further by making say for example equation number 1 by equation number 2 left hand side is h by 9 h by 16 right hand side half g2 square by half g of t minus 1 whole square it implies 16 by 9 is equal to t square by t minus 1 whole square that's nothing but equal to t by t minus 1 whole square. Let us simplify this further. If I take the square root on the both sides, 4 by 3 is equal to t by t minus 1 because root of 16 is 4, root of 9 is 3. That implies 4t minus 4 is 3t. 4t minus 3t is 4. That implies the total time of the journey is nothing but equal to 4 seconds. If I know the total time of the journey, I want to calculate the height, therefore, the height from which it has fallen, from which the body is dropped, so that it covers for a time of 4 seconds h equal to half g t square is nothing but equal to 4 square that is 16 g by 2 that is nothing but 8 g g value is given like 10 so it is dropped freely from a height of 80 meter that's it thank you for watching keep coming for more and more video lessons into the center academy.com thank you